Hello and welcome to episode 63 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you how to process your inbox in a very pure GTD fashion. Uh, this is basically how I would uh, process my inbox at the end of a working day. It usually only takes about 10 15 minutes depends on how many things I've actually collected in my inbox during the day. So let's get straight into this. Um, now in true GTD fashion um, we start at the very top and in this case I've got clean out tech draw. So the first question I'm going to ask myself is what is it? Well this is a task that uh, means that I will have to clean out uh, my tech drawer which is in the TV stand or uh, in the living room of my home so I know the location so to do this I would need to be at home but the next question I would ask is what is the next action so as I think about this I realize wait a minute I don't have any garbage sacks so I'm going to need to buy some garbage sacks before I clean out the tech drawer so now this has got two steps so the first step is buy garbage sacks. The second step is clean out tech drawer. So that means this is a project because for those of you who know the GTD system, anything that requires more than one step is a project. So immediately what I would do is I would create a, um, a project. In this case, uh, I'm going to use that one clean out tech drawer and add that project. I'm going to drag the top level item here, the clean out tech drawer into that because that is actually an action. And then I'm going to go straight into this. Now, as I say, the first thing I remembered was I need to be able to buy, I need to buy garbage sacks. So buy garbage sacks. And that's an errand. And I'll explain why I'm putting a label in this. Um, and actually, I know I'm going to the supermarket this afternoon, so I'm going to put that today and I'm going to flag that with uh, my afternoon tag, which is yellow. I'm going to add the task. Now, what happens here is this is going to have to happen before I clean out the tech drawer. Now, that is done. Now, just a point of uh, a point here. One of the features of a pure GTD system is that your next actions or in Todoist your labels need to be current and actionable. Now in this case, I cannot clean out the tech drawer until I've bought the garbage sacks. So I do not give this a label. I certainly don't give it a label yet because I don't want to uh, see this on my next actions list until I can actually do it. So this is a very, very important point when you are processing your inbox. So let's go back to my inbox. Now we have buy new shawl collar cardigan. Now again, this is what I'm going to ask is what is it? Well, it's related to buying clothes for the winter, which is coming. But I realize we're in the middle of August and there is no rush for this. So I'm going to create this as a project. So buy new shawl collar uh, cardigan. And what I'm going to do here is, uh, again, I can actually drag this task in there because this is the final task. This is the outcome. I'm going to buy the shawl collar column. But again, in this case, I need to do a little bit of research. So research uh, where I can buy shawl cardigan um, and really because this is not an urgent task I'm going to drag that one above because obviously that's for and because it's the next action I'm going to put that into my research um, <clears throat> uh, but I'm not going to give this a date because this is not really something that I would really want to do right now um, it's something that I may want to come back to in October, but it's just a someday maybe. So I'm just going to drag that into my someday maybe. And if you do that, you'll see it just disappears. I've actually, when I was rehearsing, um, I'm going to get rid of, is that the one? Yeah, I can just get rid of that one. So let's just delete that project because I was rehearsing, sorry. <clears throat> um, and then just leave that in there. 
So that's another one done. But again, notice what I've done. Buying the new Shola, shawl collar cardigan, I cannot do that until I've researched where I can buy one from. So that's a research task. So I'm not going to give this, I'm not going to give that a date, it's a someday maybe task, and I'm not going to give that a label because I don't want to see it in my next actions list. Let's go back to inbox. Arrange meeting for iOS development. Okay, this is going to be, again, it's going to be a project, so let's clean out project, um, iOS 10 development meeting. Um, now, Let's just, uh, I'm going to, I always drag them in. Sometimes I delete them if the, the task is not very clear. Now, iOS development meeting. First of all, uh, contact uh, Jane, Peter, Nicola, and John to find out best time for meeting. Um, that is obviously going to be the next step. And in this case, I'm going to do that by email so I can add the label because I know that's going to be the first step. Now, I do know that I'm going to need to have a book meeting room. So here I'm kind of brainstorming a little bit because, um, well, time, but book meeting room for iOS 10 development meeting. and send out agenda to the guys and just saving myself a little bit of time so these are the tasks that i've done what i always do when i'm i've got my very next action which i need to contact jane peter nicola and john um so i've already got that in there uh, this task I now don't need, so I can either check it off or I can just delete the task if I'm particularly if I'm interested in my karma points. So now I've got these three tasks here. Um, book meeting room for iOS 10 development, send out meeting. So I cannot do that until I know when we can have the meeting. Jane, Peter, Nicola and John need to come back to me. So that's got the label. Um, these two do not have a label because I don't know when they're going to happen. Although the agenda, I suppose I could do. Uh, in fact, when I think about it, I can. So I'm going to add that as an email uh, because I would email them the... Uh, so I'm going to drag that above there. Um, and that's it. That's basically how I process my inbox at the end of the day. Now, the, th the key parts are here is I always, always process my inbox at the end of the day now occasionally on a Friday I'm a little bit lazy I've had a long week and I just tend to sit down and vegetate in front of the television but I would have my inbox processed by Saturday lunchtime because I would get straight into it and the key point here is always uh, when you're creating a project always have the next action with a label and any actions that cannot be done until something else has been done do not give it a label because you want your labels to be current and actionable. And that is the key point here. If you start adding labels to everything, even tasks that you cannot do right at this moment because something else has to happen or it's just not the right time, then I strongly recommend don't give it a label because what you really want to do is to avoid the, pro the problem of uh, your task list becoming overloaded with tasks that you cannot do and then you just stop using them. And just a quick pointer, if you're interested in this, you can actually type in here no label and you can actually go and find all your tasks that don't have any labels. So it's very, very easy to go back to and find out any tasks that you may have missed a label. You just do a search for no label um, if I type in no and you can see it actually comes up there and I can just go through and it's very easy to find. Okay, so that's it for episode 63. I do hope you found it useful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more um, tips and tricks using Todoist. In the meantime, I'm going to wish you all a very, very productive week.